Okay, send everybody up there. These guys are just shooting normally. So we should be fine. See? Everybody's dead. Don't worry. That, uh, okay, time to worry. Retracting bombers. Yeah. Okay. Then. Heal Lucia. Heal Danny, if you can. Although, it's unlikely. And also, if you can, uh, Danny's just gonna die again. Which is less than optimal. Can I get Anna? No. Can you get Anna? Yes. Everybody gets very happy about that. And we're just gonna end the turn there. That worked out. Hello again, Rangers. Oh, I'm glad you made it. For a moment there, I thought you would be too late. What a battle. Let me introduce you to my new acquaintance. Brother, er, Carbuncle of the Primordialists, who came out with his friends to welcome me when I hailed Cheyenne Mountain over the radio. Hey, thanks for defending us. No way we'd have survived without your help. I wish I could welcome you to our home, but the bastard Nucleus finally made their move. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight to get back in. What? It speaks? Bizarre. Oh, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help us with that? Oh, we can offer you food and supplies. <clears throat> it will also help us get closer to our goal. Nucleus primordialists? Can you both slow down and take it from the beginning? Uh... Yes, I know you explained it to me once on our way here, Carbuncle, but all this violence has blown it clear out of my head. Would you mind going over it again? Sure, okay. So I'm Brother Carbuncle, and my friends and I are primordialists. The ones we fought are nucleus, and it sucks that we're fighting at all. Those people used to be my friends. See, in the beginning was the Holy Detonation, and us <coughs> worshippers were called the Primordialist. We believe the Detonation's sacred glow will make us all <coughs> one, and we want to share it with the whole world. But one of us, Deuterium, started saying the world wasn't worthy of the glow, and we should <coughs> keep it to ourselves. We called that heresy. So he went off and started a cult, the Nucleus, and called himself an abbot. Since then, the peaceful paradise that Cheyenne Mountain used to be has become a hellhole. Oh, it's terrible. Are you Carbuncle? You don't look human. Oh, I am. I'm just devolved, gloriously devolved, Father Bezor says. Mutation hits us all differently, and, and I went down the proto drool path. Still got my voice, though. Kinda. But some folks lose that first. It all depends. Eventually, I'll just be a big blob of protoplasm. It'll be great. Fascinating. What was this battle we just helped you win all about? That was Deuterium picking his moment. Up till now, there's been no fighting between the two sides, but I I guess he decided it was time. He knew just when to strike. <laughs> Bastard. He must have heard our call to Theo here, saying we'd come out to welcome him. Because when we got back, the Nucleus were waiting for us. My dear friend, I am so sorry if my call caused all this. How terrible. It's not your fault, Theo. But we gotta hurry back inside. 
They're attacking our camp in there. I heard our brothers and sisters calling for us on the walkie. That damned Deuterium's trying to wipe us out once and for all. What's that weird stuff blocking the door to that booth over there? Oh, that's a tumor colony. They form all over the place in Cheyenne Mountain. Kinda hard to clear them once they gather like that. Sister, Melanoma could tell you more about them once we get inside. If we get inside. What was going on with the guys you were fighting? All that glowing? They kept attacking after we killed them. Yeah. Uh, some mutations are more useful than others, right? You get enough radiation in you and it can come back out in all kinds of crazy ways. For them, it keeps them alive for a little while after they buy the farm. Oh, great. If helping you is what we need to get in there, fine. We'll do it. Not to be so bald about it, eh? We will thank you, friends. Here's the passcode for the airlock. You enter it into the terminal next to it. Just be prepared for more fighting. Oh, I'm always prepared for more fighting. Also, I have twisted wrists and all sort of things. Because people died. Let me see. Let me look at their loot. Hopefully, they have good weapons. No, they have uh, peelable flesh faces. That's not that. I, I didn't want that. I didn't I didn't I didn't need that. That was uh Yeah. Yeah. There's more of that. Why is there more of that? Why would you have peelable flesh flesh faces? Or quote my tumor pal and quote accessory kit. A small pouch containing bandages, gauzes, googly eyes, and a very small hat. I, I don't I don't know what to say about that. So we have level ups and we have heals that are actually, I'm just going to let them be for the moment because if we get a medic in here, which is possible, uh, well, actually, we don't have level ups. Curious. Okay. Yeah, it is possible that we find a medic in here. So I'm just going to delay that. That's how I'm going to do. How? I got turned around. No, I didn't get turned around. You parked my car elsewhere. What is this? Valet service? Ah, for shame. For shame. Anyway, um, let's just talk to them. Benign and Carbuncle. Did I talk to Benign? I don't think I talked to Benign. Benign has hair. Look, look at the hair. Thank you for saving us from those nucleus friends. I'm Sister Benign of the Primordialists. We owe you our lives. What's going on here? Seems like Abbot Deuterium and the Nucleus are trying to kill all of us Primordialists. They're attacking our camp inside, too. We've got to get in there and save our brothers and sisters. Can you help us? Uh, hang tight. We're, we're still getting the lay of the land. Of course. But please hurry. I, I will. Be one with the glow, friends. That sounds like a threat, honestly. Need to go when you are, Rangers. Uh, no, we're good, thanks. Thank you. I... That, that line could be constructed as, or construed, rather, it's a different, different verb, um, as uh, me, me, me say, the line that I said as the same thing as the first line, but it requires power. That shouldn't be a problem, because what we have to do is uh, destroy the tumor door. An immense cancerous, actually I think that's pronounced cancerous, mass is grown across this doorway. Your weapons cannot breach the thick mucus and calcified plating that covers it. I don't like that. That's a bad time. It's, uh, just, oof. Just, uh, just bad. Crystal shards. Ammunition crystal shards. Okay. Holy radiation. We also have yellow cake. I'm gonna look at what the yellow cake is. Get out of there. Holy radiation. Adds constitution and healing bonus. It it also lowers combat speed a little and the, the hit chance and the critical chance. That probably shouldn't be glowing or pulsating or writhing. And I have one. There's a maximum of ten. I wonder what that means. Maximum of ten. 
do you die when you reach the maximum? Or do you, can you just not, not, you know, get more than 10? Let's see. Is it in junk? Yes, it is. Like a cake, except more of a sticky yellow powder. And instead of giving you deliciousness, it gives you a few extra holes in your stomach. Because of the... A, yeah. Bad. Well, let's not get one to... Ooh, what is that? That's a toaster. I should be able to fix it, because Anna... Uh, is it Lucia? Oh no. We do have toaster repair, I am almost certain. Oh no. I can get nine, but I didn't want to get nine. Why do you force me to get nine? I think I have a toaster repair book somewhere in here. That would be. Oh, it should be here, shouldn't it? Miscellaneous. Oh, yeah, it's over here. I do have one. Okay. Okay. That's uh, potentially good. Let's give you a shot. Toaster repair goes up to eight with the bonus. And then we need to close, and it asks me that. Still still didn't add a, uh, an apply button. I don't think they're ever adding an apply button. Much to my chagrin. Uh, and then, well, actually, I'm going to just make sure that she doesn't have nine already, because sometimes I get confused with life. And then, yeah. So, that's that. And then you get the fix it. Is it fix? It is fix it. Okay, so it's not fix it. It's fix the toaster. But still, um, we're going for that. She gets the holy radiation. I fix the toaster. I get a, a firmware prototype and three radiation detection rods. I don't think I need those radiation detection rods. I'm pretty good at detecting it because it's uh, it, it, it radiates me. Originally used by the Cayenne's pre-deluge scientists as a wearable warning system that turned yellow when they absorbed radiation. <gasps> These rods, dash, made of lab-grown synthetic diamond, dash, are now worn by the followers of the Holy Detonation as badges of honor to prove they're worshipped in the presence of their god. Mm -hmm. And then the firmware prototype. You aren't sure what the difference between software and firmware is, but you think it's probably rated R. The difference is. It is kind of an interesting distinction, actually. If you don't know what firmware is, uh, it uh, tends to be the, the software. <laughs> it's software. Uh, the software that is closer to the metal. In uh, other words, the thing that, uh, that most intimately interacts with the actual hardware, whereas uh, software tends to run on, on an operating system. Although it doesn't have to be. Well, any software, it doesn't have to be, because firmware is software, and it doesn't run on an operating system. And in fact, a, an operating system could be firmware. Let's see what this computer has to say. Door sealed, control terminal active. I... Let's enter the code uh, OU812. Code accepted, door opening. Here's the inner door has been sealed. Yeah, it's sealed automatically if a security lockdown is triggered. The nucleus must have done it to keep us out. Ha is there any other way in? Don't think so. We'll just have to try to cancel it. I think you can do that in the access control room over there. Maybe. You don't know much about your own base, do you? Uh, sorry. Good luck. Please, Rangers. More diplomacy. Uh, no. No diplomacy. We'll see. Or maybe diplomacy. We'll see. I, I am a little bit confused about where he's coming from. If I'm honest. I don't know what, what his angle is at the moment. But I think... As long as I don't get myself into any trouble... few medic packs. Yeah, having my skills at where they are is actually pretty good, but at level, so the recommended level for this area, I think it's 18 or 17, and by that time, oh, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Maybe. By that time, you're already... Uh, we got some maintenance notes over here. I'm not sure if you're gonna have all the skills like that. Configuration 10101 is causing condensation 
in the vents. Repair scheduled for next week. So, turn that on, turn that on, and turn that on. Or, I mean... Oh yeah, they, they, they're uh, green when they go down. There we go, 101 on one. What is that actually gonna do? It's gonna blow them up. Okay. Well, they are aggressive, so I don't, it's fine. Uh, Theo. What do you need now, Rangers? What should we do next? You've got to access the terminal in the <laughs> control room and cancel the lockdown. That'll unlock the inner door. Good luck. Sure. I, well, opening these things should be easy, right? This is a restricted area. Unauthorized entry will be met with lethal force. It's not going to be very lethal. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Door seal terminal active. Gather the rest of your squad before proceeding. Oh. How about this one? Alert. Security lockdown in progress. No entry to base at this time. That is a lie. One entry to base at this time. It's right here, the entry. Actually, I'm kidding. Entrance is the correct term. Uh, did we not try? No, we can't do anything about these. These are probably the other way around. I suppose I will just die if I go past that thing. Let's give it a try. I mean, if I'm gonna die. How bad could it be, really? Let's see how easy it is gonna be to get over there. That seems to be locked. We have, oh, it's a repair. A simple click over there, die. Two holy radiations. That works. That works well enough. And we have uh, things, and we have a generator over there that should be fixable. We have a can of relative bearing grease. Not to be confused with absolute bearing grease. I have no idea what, what, what either of those are. Is that a reference to a real life brand? I, I don't know. It's just one of those things, you know? References aren't really my forte, both because I don't like them and because I uh, don't get them. Which might be related, to be fair. They, th those two things might be related one to, to, to one another. But, yeah, it's, they're not really my forte. Also, jokes. Don't get them, either. But I like them. I just don't understand. Anyway, uh, we have the whole team. Let's go. Through here. The only way forward. Please enter your command. Open access control door, please. Opening door. Dear, it appears they've activated security measures. Yeah, those things are security beacons. You're gonna need to shut them off or they'll keep calling more robot reinforcements. How do we shut them down? Those switches over there will do it. All you gotta do is get to them. What's a security beacon besides, you know, that thing? They're part of Cheyenne's old security system. They detect and identify threats and summon robots to deal with them. Which is great if you're controlling them. Not so good for us. Mm, thanks for the info. Yeah, good luck. Persevere, Rangers. Objective-based encounters, much like in the first DLC. In, Ka in a, I don't think much, uh, very often in the main game. Uh, although, every once in a while, it did. So, anyway. In Cayenne Mountain, you'll come across combat encounters that will require more than just bullets. You'll need to complete another larger objective, such as activating a security override or cutting the power. You'll receive an overview before starting each of these and can choose when to initiate them. Fight smart, and you'll come out on top. I am... Oh. I can't move the camera. I'm very bad at coming out on top. Uh, Cayenne Mountain is full of security systems that will deploy hostile... Z hostiles on your position. These systems cannot be defeated directly with attacks. Instead, you'll need to complete your objective or find another way to stop the flow of enemies. Certain abilities and specialized weapons can also temporarily disrupt them, buying you some extra time. I suppose maybe freezing. I think this might be 
a bad time. This might be a bad time. So... We turned that thing off because of that. But there's nothing else elsewhere. Um, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, fix people. Because I can do that. Let's see. You fix yourself. Who needs to die? Or who has died, rather. It's not needs to die. It's the other way around. Okay, that's for you. And that is for you as well. And that is for Danny. Goes away after it applies the thing and inverts the order, which is very confusing. I wonder if it removes the radiation. Because it should. Uh, I think it does? No, it didn't. Okay, well, it doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure it's going to be all right. Uh, there's an alarm thing over there. Oh, no, 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 no. So we are safe. Oh, no, we're not. Get out. Get out. What? Okay. Somebody go over there. Did you disarm that? You did. Now, these things are activated by this big thing. Which means I will need to deactivate these. Hmm. This is Quan. Quan could die. Quan could uh, perish. Let's see what this does. Oh no. Security turret optics. Uh, impossible. Yeah. Well, everybody's here. This could be better. Could it be better? I. Mm, I have many doubts. My problem is I I selected uh, Quan and the rest of the team at the same time. So there's no hiding in there. There's an alarm here. So we're going to need to just leg it. Uh, but the problem is security turrets will kill us. Okay. So you stay there. Danny is going to be here to tell everyone to run. And then Anna is going to be here to run. She's going to go there. It's pretty sweet, actually. I, I, am, I am confident about our chances. And then I have Jennifer over here, who will uh, also run very well. She runs very well. She's a very good runner. And then we have disablers over here that have freezing things that might work. I, I doubt it, but they might. And then I get Josh over here because he's, he, Josh doesn't... He, he, he dies very easily. It's, it's kind of complicated. Uh, and uh, also he has a cat. So, two reasons to keep to keep him out of uh, harm's way, I suppose. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I think. Maybe. Sure. What? Oh. Did that work? No. Lockdown override progress. One of four override switches engaged. All right. All right. Um, I take it back. As in, I, I reload. Because that's not, that's not what's going to happen. It doesn't happen. Because we roll initiative like pants, is what we do. Uh, and, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get Josh to take a shot. To that guy, yeah. So what this does... Is it starts combat for everyone? Lockdown override progress. One of four override switches engaged. Instead of, you know, letting the enemy kill me before things. So the rally does seem to have applied a little. It didn't apply very much. It, it actually was terrible. But at least we can run into cover. So that's pretty sweet. Anna is going to go over there, and she's going to have time. Actually, is she? Do I need to kill those things? 
We might have to kill these things. 